Hey guys, how are you? So I'm here today with a really exciting video um, that has been, sorry, there was something on that placement, highly anticipated by me. This is my bathing garden um, Valentine's Day haul collection. So this just came in the mail a couple days ago. Today is the first day that I've had time to film a haul, but I wanted to share it because there's a ton of stuff in here that I want to go ahead and melt. She did, I think um, Shannon and Travis, I think are the people that have the bathing garden, like it's their company um and she did make like a four week turnaround time on this instead of uh, the six week term turnaround time she normally does i think she's trying to um get her holiday collections out sooner because i know a lot of people comment about that so that's super cool of her and so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab this first one here is ooh la la and this is really pretty i think this is a dupe of luscious vanillary so this is like vanilla, musk, chonka bean. It has like these little rosettes and it's this heart shape, a beautiful. I know I've said this before, but I can't say it enough. I love the bathing gardens, um, like aesthetic, like it's like vintagey and very glittery and girly and everything is just beautiful. Like I love the font she uses. I love the glitter. I love everything about it. So I don't know if I said or not. Well, I know I didn't, but I'm going to go through the samples first. She sent a ton of samples, which is another thing like I love. Um, I'm always so happy to get her samples and she's always so generous. So anyway, this one is vanilla. -y. Um, it's just like a, a musky deep vanilla scent. I used to have this perfume from Lush when they did the, um, solid perfumes and that one's really nice. Okay. Next I have Bohemian Rhapsody. And this is a really cute little bunch shape like she does. Um, this one looks like this. Cute bunch shape, like I said. It has a little glitter on it. And I think this one is, um, it's very fruity. I think this one is like cherry, grape, lime. Um, it reminds me kind of of like a Jello <laughs> with like a, a lot of gel packets of Jello mixed together. Um, there's like bright fruity notes. It's good. Um, next here I have the sweetest thing. And this one looks like this. It's like this very cute little rose. So the sweetest thing is a dupe of Lush's Yummy Yummy Yummy, which isn't my favorite scent. Um, to me it's just weird. It's like strawberry, cherry, and then like some florals in it. It reminds me of Rockstar. From Lush as well. Um, it's okay. It's more of like a, it's less of an actual like fruity berry scent to me and more of like a soapy scent. And I think that's the problem I have with it, but I'll melt that one in my bathroom. Another one I'll probably have in my bathroom is Pillow Fight. And this one is, it looks like this. It's like this purple heart. This is a love spell dupe. This one's exactly like Love Spell. It's nice. It's great if you love Love Spell um, from Victoria's Secret. It's not my favorite scent again, but I'll be happy to melt it in my bathroom. This next one is weird. It's called the Pickle Jester, and this smells exactly like pickles to me. Um, some of these samples looks like this. Some of these samples are from her um, circus collection that's on her website now. And this is one of them that she's offering in a clamshell. But this is like, it smells like cucumbers and vinegar to me. And it's supposed to smell like pickles, but I don't know that I would reorder that. If you like the smell of pickles, you would love that. Um, yeah, and then this one is in the same vein, kind of to me. This is vanilla Play-Doh. This one I like better. It looks like this. Like has these indents in it. This one smells like Play-Doh. It really does. It's like a sweet Play-Doh scent. It's good. It's like nostalgic to me. I don't dislike it. I feel like it would be good like in, in a kid's room or like a playroom or like if you had like a preschool classroom. That would be nice to melt in there. Um, I have Victorian Midway here. Whoa, okay, so last one looks like this. 
This one is like fried apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, and pumpkin, I think. It's a very heavy cinnamon and pumpkin scent. This is like fall, 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 fall. If you don't like a red hot cinnamon, you would not like this because it is super cinnamony to me and I love red hot cinnamon. I like it. Um, I actually normally don't like pumpkin, but I like that one a little bit better because it does have um, like a lot of cinnamon in it and it kind of overpowers the pumpkin, honestly. This one is dream cake. And I'm obsessed with these little cakes that she does for samples sometimes. I think they're so cute. I had like a pink one, a brown one, and a white one. They were Neo like Neapolitan ice cream and they were each a different scent once. And it was so freaking cute. Okay, so Dream Cake is like, I think it's cotton candy, like velvety cake, and um, raspberry. There's definitely like a raspberry cream in here. It's nice. She has a lot of berry cake scents and I think... There's one in here, another sample that I like more. This isn't my favorite of her berry cake scents, if that makes sense. Um, but I do like it. But if other things were offered, like I think this one's part of her circus collection. And I really like um, one of the other ones I'll show you. If nothing else was offered and I wanted to something like this, I would maybe get that one. But there are other ones I prefer. Strawberry drizzled fried Oreo. This one, again, is part of the circus collection, and she has this one right now on her website and like, one of those huge um, shapes that she does. Looks like this. Another one of her little buns. And this smells like, like a chocolate-covered strawberry. Like, I don't get a whole lot of... This one is supposed to be strawberries, um, Oreo, and funnel cake, and I don't get a lot of funnel cake in this. Her strawberry is really nice, and then I get, like, a chocolatey scent. So that's good. I don't know that I would like purchase it myself, but it'll be nice to melt that, especially around Valentine's Day. Oh, this was the one I was talking about that's like a berry cake scent that I prefer. This one's circus cake. And this one is like blue raspberry shaved ice, white cake and buttercream, I think. Looks like this. Yeah, and this one is so good. I think the blue raspberry goes much better with the cake than the regular raspberry. This is so nice. It always throws really well. Um, I am going to place an order for her circus collection. I'm going to do a couple of these in clams. I wish she had this set in jumbo clams because I would get one. Next I have the Enchanted. I think this one was part of her Valentine's Day collection as well. This is really pretty. It's like this holographic like glitter on top of this silver heart. I'm going to show you the back. The back's just plain, but then this has like this holographic tint to it. The scent is not my favorite. It's very floral and it's like a deep musky floral. And it kind of reminds me of a funeral home. Huh? It's like very perfumey. So not my favorite scent. I'll probably again melt this one in the bathroom. Um, but when I'm in the mood for a floral, that one would be really nice. I can't distinguish exactly what's in it. I'm sorry. And I don't think that one was on her website when I looked. The next one is Marie Antoinette's Boud, Boud, Boud. I can't say that. Boudoir. I'm not even going to try. So this one is like two of these. If you can see that. Two of these like little flower or flower. They're like little heart shapes. And this is good. I don't know what's in here necessarily. This one's floral, but it's like a very fresh green floral to me. And maybe some fruity in there as well. Raspberry. I'm not sure. Um, but this is really nice. Like a perfume, but much fresher than the historic, the enchanted one. Um, I don't know that I like it enough that I would like order it, but that would be a great bedroom scent. This next one is Love Cookie. And that's one I always hear people talk about, so I'm glad I got a sample in it. I thought I wouldn't like it, and I really don't. Um, it is very heavy. It's like a maple cookie um, bakery type of scent, and it's just very, very heavy. 
very mapley. I don't love maple. There's no chocolate in this, but I do almost smell chocolate. Yeah, it's just a very heavy sweet scent with some maple in it, and I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay, I have a couple more samples here. Like I said, she is super generous with the samples, and any of these that I'm like saying I don't necessarily love, it's nothing against her. It's just um, probably my own pickiness. This next one in here is salted caramel popcorn. It looks like this, another one of these like swirly shapes. This smells just like buttered popcorn to me. I don't get a whole lot of caramel. I get an extreme amount of butter. Um, this would be good for like a movie night or something. But yeah, sorry my cat just ran in here. You might've heard her yowling when she, she's not yowling, but she was meowing really loud when she ran in here. And then the last sample I have here is pink lemonade stand. What are you doing? On here. I'll put her down on the table so you guys can see her. She's getting quite big. There she is. It's pink lemonade stand. She's rubbing her face again. She's rubbing her face against the box. Okay, so it looks like this. That was a mess. This one is like watermelon, raspberry, and lemonade. I think I like this a lot. I think I like this better than her um, Big Top Lemonade scent, which is like pink lemonade and regular lemonade. She likes it too. Um, mixed together. It's good. The watermelon in here is like really fresh and not like a chapsticky watermelon. Okay, that's good. And then I got two body care samples. This first one is brown sugar creamers bouquet. And I think this one was a scrub. Yeah, it's a scrub. It looks like this. It's a lovely scent. I got actually two things in this, so I'll talk about that later. I might have gotten more. This is one of my favorite scents. She did some that. And then she also said, Maple, could you not? She's like climbing up in the chair with me. Um, another body care sample in vanilla cake sprinkles. And this one is like a whip soap. I think it's a whip soap and there's a scrub underneath there. Um, but this one is really light. I can't really smell it. It kind of just smells like a vanilla soapy scent right now. So I'll try it out and I'll include it in my empties when I do. Okay. So those are all the samples I received. I also received um, a whip soap and like this in my shower, but it was like in a size like this. And it was in pie crust or sugared pie crust, which I didn't order. So I don't know if it was a sample or if it was just included in my order like accidentally um, because there was something else I ordered that was actually missing. So that's fine. I feel like it made up, it made up for that being missing. Um, I think it, she just sent the wrong one, but okay. Yeah, well, that's enough girlfriend. Okay. So I got one more shape here and this is beautiful. This is in the scent sweet cakes. it looks like this. This is just like a vanilla cake scent. I feel like I tend to get a lot of vanilla cake scents from the bathing garden because I love vanilla, but I don't normally order it from a lot of other vendors because I don't think it tends to throw very well. And I think the bathing gardens like vanilla, whipped cream, um, like sugar cookie scents throw really well. So this is just kind of like that. And it's really, really nice. And this is huge. So that one. And it's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I told my husband that I wanted to not use that and just display it in our bedroom. He was like, no, we're not doing that. That's so weird. <laughs> okay. So now I'm onto the clamshells. This first one here is Princess Marzipan Princess Cake. And this one is like rich cream cake in marzipan. It looks like this. And this is so good. I don't know how I've never ordered this before. She has like little bunts of this on her website now. And when I go to place my circus order, I'm going to go back and get, and get this because it is so nice. Yeah. It's like amazing. It's like, it's like a almondy vanilla bakery, but it's just very like dense and rich and the perfect amount of sweet. Um, I really love this. I don't know how, I wish I would have gotten a couple of those because it's not on her website and clams anymore. This next one is a forever favorite. This is lemon curd and rose milk. 
and it looks like this. I've had this over and over again. Um, the top of this one is like lemon curd, which is like sweet and bright and fresh. It smells like a lemon, um, like Starburst to me. And then the bottom part, cause it's layered is like, like a creamy vanilla rose scent. That's not heavily sweet. This one is like really fresh, really nice for a bedroom, really nice for the spring. Um, and it always throws really well for me. So I thought about getting that one in a jumbo plan, but I didn't. Um, okay, next is Marshmallow Rose Jam. And this one is also like double layered, so I'll take it out here. The top layer is Marshmallow, and she has a great marshmallow scent. It's really strong. It's like creamy and definitely smells like marshmallow fluff. And then the bottom of this is just Rose Jam which is like a super sweet jelly rose type of scent. Um, I love this. It's nice. Sometimes I really get in the mood for rose jam, so I figured it would be nice to have this extra sweet rose jam scent around. Um, and then this was not part of her Valentine's Day collection, but I threw it in my cart. This one's the Autumn Court. I've talked about this one before. I think it was only like one left. Um, it looks like this, which is beautiful. I don't know if I'll save this for next, like, fall or if I'll go ahead and melt it while it's still winter. But this smells to me like, um, when you're making cinnamon rolls, it's not bready and it's not yeasty. But, like, when you mix, like, butter and brown sugar and cinnamon and it's, like, very, like, dense and, like, an icing that you put in the cinnamon rolls before you roll them up when you make them homemade that stuff inside that's what this smells like to me it's like brown sugar cinnamon butter um it's super nice it's very strong i like that not necessarily all the time i would have to be in the mood for it but it is a nice scent okay another rose scent here i have spiced rose hip potpourri and i had a sample of this and i absolutely loved it Looks like this. I just dropped a bunch of stuff on my table. It looks like that, which is like beautiful. I love when she puts dried flowers and stuff. It's like a total vibe. Um, and this is so good. So it's cinnamony, um, just like a bowl of potpourri, like super in your face cinnamon, like a craft store. But it also has like this very rosy scent. And the rose in here is like a dry, dusty rose. Um, so it gives off like a very vintage vibe, like very like dry just like potpourri like you would imagine a bowl of like rose potpourri would smell like rose cinnamon potpourri but it's so good and it's super strong my sample was like through forever um and it was strong for like a day or two okay this next one i got two of hmm. okay so this one is cinderella would be jealous and this one is just a lush snow cake dupe. It looks like this. Which this one, I think it's just like, um, it's supposed to be like a marzipan cake type of soap. But then it doesn't smell like the um, marzipan princess cake. This one smells quite different. Um, it's not sweet. It's like milky almost if you've ever smelled snow cake i think you know what i'm talking about it's like um it reminds me of like almond milk almost yeah it's like a nutty like milky scent with not very much sweetness in it um it's good it's like a soapy scent to me like this is not gourmand at all it's more like a fresh type of scent um so there's those two okay so I just have jumbo clamshells and so I got this scent this is the one that I was talking about that I like I got this scent in a regular clamshell and a jumbo clamshell so I could have both and I actually have one of these left over from last year still too that's why I didn't get two clamshells because I debated it this one is brown sugar cream rose bouquet it's the same scent I got my sample scrubbing and this one looks like this. It's so pretty. Again, dried flowers. Amazing. Great aesthetic. And this is like, I think it's like 
buttercream icing, like sugary cake type of scent, and then with rose too, and brown sugar. And this is good. I can definitely smell the brown sugar in this. Like it's like a sweet vanilla with brown sugar. And then rose. The rose is not like rose jam. It's not, the rose is not that sweet in this. It's like, um, like a really fresh rose. So I love this. It's just like the perfect floral. I think you might try this even if you don't like florals. If you don't like rose, probably, obviously you're not going to try this, but it's not like a heavily floral scent. It's just like a very sweet, um, almost like gourmet and rose type of scent. If you like, like pink petal tea cake, this might be for you. I actually like this better than pink petal tea cake. And pink petal tea cake is one of my favorite scents. Okay, this next one, I actually got two of as well. So this one is Cleopatra's Cream Bath. And I got two of these jumbo clamshells in this because this scent is so good and I crave it all year long and I always run out like mid-year. So I figured this would be enough. Okay, so it looks like this. This one is like milk, butter, and clotted cream, um, honey, and musk, I think. And it is so good. It definitely is like cream. Like you can definitely smell like a fresh cream type of scent in here. That's what I get the most. And then I also get butter. It's not like super buttery. Um, this reminds me of, it doesn't smell like, but for some reason it reminds me of like Philosophy's like fresh cream, um, like body wash or they make multiple products in that scent. Um, but it's like deeper and butterier and um, muskier. Oops. It's like a deeper, darker version of that kind of to me. I don't really know even how to explain this. Um, it's not necessarily a gourm gourmand scent, um, but it's not really like a fresh scent either. It's kind of in between those two things, which I really love. Okay, I just have a couple body candles here and then I'll be done. Um, first is in brown sugar cream rose bouquet. I got a, what do you call it? I got a lotion. I also got a lotion. I think a lotion was the other thing I ordered that didn't come, but this is nice. They already talked about it. Um, her lotions are good. They're not like super moisturizing, but they're like nice. Um, They're a nice, like, light type of lotion. Maybe more for, like, summertime. I might save that for the spring. I got a whipped soap and clear purchase cream bath. I already, I already talked about how much I love this scent. That's the one I got the two large clamshells of. Um, it's, like, a a rich clot, clotted cream with butter and honey and musk. Okay. And then I got a sugar scrub and rose glace, rose glass. This is just like um, rose jam from Lush. It's like a sweet rose scent. I'm not gonna open these cause the top of it looks like that, but I don't know if I'm gonna use them right away. Um, and then that's it. That's all that I got. So that was my first order of 2023, I think. Um, I have a Rainbow Bumps order that should be shipping this week, but um, like I said before, I'm trying to only place like X amount of orders in this year. So this was number one. Um, the Rainbow Months order was from before the first of the year. So I'm not going to count that in my X, X amount. Um, this was number one. And then I also placed a Teddy Bees order. So that'll be number two. And that'll be a couple weeks before that comes in. I didn't order from the latest Salt Mountain Melts restock. I thought about it, but there just wasn't enough that I was like interested in. Um, it kind of helps me when I'm, when I'm like, place, when I'm like putting a number on how many orders I want to place a year, it helps me because when I look at restocks, um, I really want it to be like worth my time and worth paying for shipping. Like I'm not going to order like one or two things. So I'm really trying to stick to restocks that there are like several things that I want in them and skip others that there are just one or two things. So I think everything's going really well. Um, I'll probably be back here in mid-February with my February empties, um, or maybe if my rainbow, fingers crossed, because I know sometimes Rainbow Melts struggles with their shipping, if my Rainbow Melts order ships out this week, I might um, do a haul on that. So, did you guys order from the Bathing Gardens Valentine's Day collection? If you did, what did you get? What's your favorite scent? If I go back and I make a circus collection order, like, what's your favorite? Because I'm, like, struggling to narrow it down. Um, I do want to make a, 
I do want to make an order with the circus selection. I'm really struggling to narrow down what I need. I don't need any of it, but you know what I mean. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you soon.